the Olympic champion, Shaw Anlin, just being introduced to the hometown crowd here in Montreal as we get set for the final of the 1500 meters. And there is the man expected to challenge Anlin for the world title and the gold medal, Victor Ong, five-time overall champion, a four-time winner at the world championships in this distance. Sin Da Woon of Korea will be very tough. There are two, three, make that two Koreans in this final. Han Tian Yu of China being introduced. There are two Chinese skaters. Lee Han Bin of Korea. And next to him will be his Korean teammate, Park Si Young. And the final member of this final group, Wu Daijing, silver medalist in the 500 in Sochi. It is a elite A field for the men's 1500. The first medals given out individually for the men here in Montreal. Sean Emlin wearing helmet number 109. The defending Olympic champion in tough against a very good field, most notably Victor Ong of Russia. It's another crowded race out there. Seven men, Wu Jing being advanced from the semifinals after the penalization of Yankov from Israel. And like you say, Steve, a very deep, strong field in the 1500 meters. And those Koreans, as we saw in the women's final, always tough, always. Lee Han Bin is wearing helmet number 143, had the lead for the moment over Shaw, but Shaw stepped in front once again. This appears to be Amlon's strategy to make sure he's in front. Well, it is definitely what has worked for him in the past and worked for him at the Olympics in Sochi where he won this event. The Korean men historically have been so strong across the board, but they really did not perform well in Sochi. Failed in the relay, failed to make the podium, and so they really didn't have the event that they wanted to have there. And with three of them in the final, we can see it happen again, a sweep like the women did. Couple of nice moves from Shaw Amlin, but it's the Chinese skater who takes the lead over Shaw's. And that is Han Tian Yu in front of Amlin, followed by the two Koreans, then another Chinese skater. And again, Amlin says, enough's enough, I'm going back in front. Well, it's definitely something that's worked for him in the past, and sometimes in a final, it's hard to give you some, have the confidence to try something new and so he does tend to stick with that strategy but he does it because it works he's being challenged again by Han Tian Yu he takes the lead and now one of the Koreans decides to challenge for the lead and has it and then loses it and he may be out of it well, he cut the inside of the track there, and so he just got so far to the inside, he couldn't get back out onto the track, and has basically disqualified himself. Keep your eyes on Victor Ahn. He's now sitting in third place. It is Hanlon, Hanlon in front. And at the line is Sean Hanlon. Olympic and world champion in the 1,500 meters. How good does that sound? What a race from Shaw Amlon, a veteran of more than 10 world championships, and he wins the Opening distance for the men in pursuit of his first ever overall title. He takes the 1500. Well, there's giving a big hug to his coach, Derek Campbell, and that really was a smart race. And here you see a Korean skater, he just lost his grip, 
and he wasn't able to get back out onto the track coming in so far to the inside and Hamlin his strategy continues to work for him and the reason it started to work for him in the 1500 meters is because he's so fit now that he and he has that ability to prevent other skaters from passing him you know, after the Olympics in Sochi, even though he won this race, he was disappointed in his 500 and 1,000 meters where he fell. He said, short track can be really glorious, and sometimes it can be really cruel and really rude. And today for him, it was truly a glorious 1,500 meters. He was in control. He stayed close to the front, really, to keep that control, be able to defend his position. And he saw a lot of things happening behind him that he was able to avoid. And when the Korean made that late false move to go off track, it didn't rattle Charles, and that's his experience now in the distance. So Charles Emlin opens the World Championships in Montreal with a gold medal in the 1500, the same color that he had at the Sochi Olympics in the distance. Han Tian Yu is silver, and Park Si Young of Korea winds up in the bronze medal position. Now, let's go down and join Carly Ibra. Thank you very much. Joining me now is the world champion of the 1500 meter discipline. That is Charles Hemlen. Charles, congratulations. You defeated your rival there, Victor On. But besides that storyline, what does the success in this race mean to you? Uh, I think to have that victory on uh, home soil in Montreal with my crowd, uh, I think the crowd really helped me to just have this uh, little juice uh, that I needed to pass the Chinese at the end in the last lap to uh, get the to get the gold and with that I think it's just a confirmation that Canada is is strong on 1500 meters and we are in the game up next the women's 500 meter final from a sold-out Maurice Richard arena in Montreal